Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. So today I wanted to kind of do another tag video, something to kind of let you guys get to know a bit more about me. And it's going to be the Haitian tag. So let's just get started. Okay, so the first question is, what is your Haitian name? I can't believe I'm saying this on my channel, but my Haitian name is Mali Flo. So everybody, all my family knows me as Mali Flo. Were you born in Haiti? Yes. Favorite Haitian movie? I don't really have a favorite, oh yeah. I Love You, Aunt. I think everyone knows I Love You, Aunt. Like it's a really, really old movie, but that is my favorite Haitian movie. Um, and also anything that has Je suis foi or uh, Tonton Bicha, I love them. They're like the funniest to me. And my favorite Haitian song would be Chocolat by Alan Cove. And I know it's like such a generic song, but that is the first Haitian song that I fell in love with. So that's the only song that like I could call my favorite. I love a lot of other Haitian musicians and stuff, but that's my favorite song. So I'm just gonna play you guys a bit of it. Yes. If you go on YouTube and just Google Chocolat by Alan Cove, Alan Cave, oh my god, Alan Cave, you will hear the song and I just, I love it. Favorite Haitian food would have to be generic, I know. Glio, piquelis, and bon Uh Piquelis is kind of like a spicy coleslaw that we make. Glio is fried pork and bon Pese is fried plantain. That is my ultimate favorite, but of course, a close second would be soup jumun, which is basically like a pumpkin soup that we have on the 1st of January, and that's um, a historical thing for Haiti. I think it's Haitian. It celebrates our Haitian independence. So soup jumun, oh my god. And of course, I love my legume. I love my um, zili jonjon. I love me some TV Jean Jean, but Piccoli's Guyo and Banan Pesa would have to be like my favorite. When was the last time I was in Haiti? That would have to be 96. I was six years old. And how many times have I been to Haiti? I haven't been back since I was there in 96, but I do plan on going next year. I was trying to go this year, but I had started a new job, so I can't really get that much time off. So I definitely want to go next year and I'm making myself a promise that next summer I have to go to Haiti so I'm really excited for that. Okay, where are my parents from? Uh, my mom is from Aachen and my dad... Oh, I might have to call him. Where is my dad from? Hello? Hi, Daddy. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, good, good. Daddy, I have a question. Kikoto yeah. fet Kiko to fet? I think me I Kiko to daddy. Say me Kiko to soti. Lati bonit. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> yeah. So there you have it. My dad is from Lati bonit and my mom is from Ake. Say something in your language. So our official language is French, but our common language is Creole. Like our maternal language is Creole. So I'm gonna parler Creole. I'm gonna parler Creole. La Creole, mais j'aime pas les Creole. C'est comme un petit blanc. I'm gonna accent américain. So si tu es Haiti, tu es où? Un pat. Un pat grandi Haiti comme. I'm not like a true Haitian because I do have a very North American or petit blanc accent. But I'm gonna parler Creole. What do I like most about Haiti? I would have to say our culture um, and just what the country embodies. Like I feel that Haitian people are very strong people. We're very prideful. We're very loving. We're very giving. We're very 
stubborn, but that just makes us who we are. And we have a lot of things going for us. Unfortunately, sometimes our passion can kind of be steered in the wrong directions, but I just love how we persevere no matter what is thrown our way. Like that makes me proud to be a Haitian. What do I hate most about being Haitian? I think our stubbornness. I think it's just the way that sometimes we act like crabs in a barrel and we don't really build the sense of community of helping one another like a lot of other cultures do. Like I feel we're lacking in that and I don't like that a lot. I think that like we should try to help each other to be better because in helping each other we're helping ourselves and we're helping our country, you know? So yeah, that's one thing I just don't like. A ridiculous question that I've been asked. Um, do I eat cats? Do I eat dogs? Like back in the days when I was like in elementary middle school, it was this stupid rumor that went around that Haitians ate cats and dogs and stuff. And I'm just like, no, like that's stupid. And even if someone did, don't like, they used to say it in a bad way. And I'm just like, well, I personally don't. But if someone did, like, what is it your business? And why would you even ask me that? But yeah, that's one thing that like I hate when people ask or a commonly asked question. Or um, people being surprised when they see me and that they know that I'm Haitian. They're just like, but you're so pretty. What? Yes, and does that mean that I'm automatically disqualified from being Haitian because I'm pretty? There's many beautiful Haitian women, men out there. Like, it should not be an outlier or out of the norm that we're beautiful. We do have beautiful people in our country, just like we have ugly people in our country and so do a lot of other countries. They have beautiful, ugly, average people. Like you don't you don't base someone's nationality on how they look. Like I'm too pretty to be Haitian. Like no, it's the fact that I am Haitian. I'm so beautiful. So <laughs> Yeah, that was I'm sorry. But yeah, I, I always hate when people are surprised that I'm Haitian. Like it's it's ignorant. Like don't say that I'm but I'm so pretty. Like that that's ignorant. That's along the same line as telling me I'm pretty for a black girl, which your mother or father's favorite phrase. My dad doesn't really have one. Um he always calls everyone boss man, but I don't think that's a Haitian thing. I know other cultures do that as well, but my dad, he always called people boss men, but that's not a Haitian phrase. My mom, on the other hand, she has a long, long, long list of them. There's when she wants to insult us. It's it's Malbuik, Tet Papao, which is, Tet Papao is kind of like, it literally translate to, translates to your father's head, but a loose translation of that is like your father's seed, like you're just like your father. Um, so I always used to get that papa who um, is like malpote, salop. Yo, my mom had them for days. Like she, ugh, Haitian mothers, yo, they be, they say things that will hurt you to the core. Like you just be like, like this is what you're calling your kin, and like it's not even like. It's not a bad thing for them. That's just how they express themselves. They just, they say these words. And like, I know to all the other cultures, they'll be like, why did your mom just call you that? But for us, it's just like, it goes in every sentence. It's like, sans ave, mal poque, ten papao. Like, uh, there's so many others. Oh no, actually, her favorite phrase used to be, meteo ajinu, meteo ajinu. I swear to Yo, I was always in Ajinu, and I was not even a bad kid. Like, my mom always had me in Ajinu. Because when I was younger, she was very strict, but the longer we've lived in North America, she's not as strict. But if you guys don't know, Ajinu is kind of, it's a type of punishment where you go down on your knees, and then you'll cross your hands, or sometimes they'll make you put your hands out. And, you know, that used to be the worst. Because I remember one time, my mom, she had me do Ajinu at, like, 10 o'clock at night and she made me do it at the edge of her bed while she was watching TV. She fell asleep. I didn't get up till like two o'clock in the morning when my dad came home and he woke my mom. He's just like, you got this girl on the floor since what time? And then she's just like, oh, okay, go to bed. But bruh, I was there for hours from 10 to 10, 11, 12, two. Ooh, 10, 11, 12, one. So four, no wait, 10, 11, 10, 11, 12, one, two. Four hours, oh my bad. But yeah, and that's the norm for us. Like, it's really bad. And the worst was 
there was this I know a lot of people's houses had this it was like this uh, carpet protector it was clear and it had these little prongs underneath it and it was made out of plastic and like that was like the worst punishment like you had to have done something really bad but my mom would make you do ajinu on that and then the like the little prongs would like prick you in your kneecaps and leave indentation marks like yo it's it's like the equivalent of putting rice on the floor and making someone get on their knees on that like corporal punishment was made by haitians honestly do i know how to dance compa not really. I ain't got that much rhythm to be honest with you. Like my hips don't sway like they should. They're not loose enough. I'm very like robotic in how I get. So I could do a little something in my seat, but don't ask me to get up. And especially that's why I never go to bars, which are like Haitian parties, because men will try to like pull you out your seat to make you dance. Bruh, I don't know how to dance. Don't try to embarrass me, okay? Let me sway in my seat and watch people dance. What does Haitian? What does being Haitian mean to me? Um, being Haitian is my identity. Being Haitian is something that I'm very proud of. And growing up, it was something that I had to learn. Like, I didn't really have a good understanding of what it meant. Growing up, it was such a bad thing to be Haitian and something that you shouldn't be proud of. So it was very hard for me to kind of find this love for my country like I have now. Uh, moving to the States when I was six years old, like I didn't know English, I didn't know anyone, it was just me, my mom, my dad, and my little sister, like I didn't have any older siblings or anyone to look up to who kind of helped me to identify with being Haitian and seeing it as a good thing. And around that time, like being Haitian was honestly like the worst thing, like kids are so cruel. Like imagine being six years old, thick Haitian accent, going to school and then you're just different and kids don't like that. And on top of that, you're Haitian, which at that time, that was a country for them to bully. So just like every day, just being bullied for who I was and it made me kind of try to hide the person that I was because I just didn't want to be bullied. So I would lie about being Haitian because I didn't know any better. I just didn't want people to make fun of me. I didn't want school to be harder than it is. And it wasn't until like I got into middle school, high school, and I started to read more on my culture, but also surround myself with more other Haitians. And I just learned to be proud of my country, my ethnicity. like. And I truly understood what it meant to be Haitian. Like, yeah, we have our faults, but we persevere. And no matter what, we will stand our ground and we will stand for what we believe in. And we are very hot-headed and very crazy, but that doesn't always have to be a bad thing. And as long as you know how to balance everything, you'd be good. So definitely, I've learned to love being Haitian and I wear it as a badge of honor, so yeah. All right, you guys, so that was the Haitian tag. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that it was entertaining and educational for some of you guys who may not have known anything about Haitians or what being Haitian was, and I hope for others it was kind of like, you know, a way to connect and just be like, oh yeah, that happened in my household too, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, that was it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I said that already, I think. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.